Hello everybody, welcome back once again to my channel, and today we are playing some more Star Stable. And I am just weird as I'm eating a little bit of racing right now. And then we have a big day. So, uh, how, did you, did any of you guys watch the stream yesterday? Did about an hour long stream of our first stories for the birthday. And apparently, my new thing is to just delete footage. And it was really sad. And I didn't even need to delete it, I just had to have to do a different file. It just almost, and I'm super sad. But, whatever. So... Alright guys, we are now here. Uh, stop, stop. Brave Rider, you have to help me. My little lamb, Twinkie, got scared and ran this, went away this morning. She ran in, off into the, uh, into the field somewhere out west, and I think I can hear her calling for help. I can't leave here. I can't leave here in case, in case she comes back. Plus, I'm sure I'll pass it. Sure, I'll pass out if I take one more step. I would, but I hope the wolves don't find her before you do. She must be so scared. I've, I've got an idea. You can pick some fresh grass and give it to her. That's her favorite food. That should calm her down and make her follow you, or at least make her come home. Oh, so many pants. Founder, you are truly the bravest of the brave to go forth in the unknown fields of Moreland, face unspeakable horrors, and return unscathed with the help with the helpless and innocent, and, and with the helpless and innocent. But asking for nothing in return, you are truly a Moreland champion. I shall put in a patient for the town. I shall put in a petition for the town hall to build a statue in your honor. I. In gold, thank you, dear writer. Thank you. You're very helpful. What's now? What's now? I mean, what's now? Really? I guess we can go to Moreland. I mean, I think so. All right, I'll see you guys at Fort Pinto. Yes. All right. So let's talk to James. Hi, Justine. So 
sigh. Why am I sighing? Hmm, almost all of the clothes I have in stock sell to the tourists here are, or, or all are sold out. I guess it's pretty nice. I guess it's a pretty nice problem to have since it means I've already sold it off, sold lots of stuff. But it's still a problem. Before now, I've always been able to order new clothes and have them delivered from Norwich City, but lately it's not been going very well. All the packages of clothes seem to be getting lost, like by the roadside and all, you know, and so on. Which means I don't end up with anything to sell. I really, I really should head over to the city mall and pick up some new stock. But who'd be here taking care of all the tourists if I went there? Yeah, you heard, the, you heard it right. The Yorbix Mall, Yorbix, the Yorbix Mall. You heard right, the mall, Yorbix top shop shopping destination. Hey, maybe you could help me out and pick up my packages from the security guard at the mall. There's only one catch. They don't let horses in, into Yorbrook City. I know, right? Major missed opportunity. Think you can give Rosestone a break and head to your and head to Yorbrook City Mall for me? You, you'll go amazing. Thank you, Justine. You probably can also pick up the horse gear I've ordered as well. Yeah, while you're there. You know, while you're there. How do you get to your big city mall? It's easy. All you have to do is get to the ticket. You have to do is take the bus. There's even a bus stop right here in Fort Pinta. Well, well, what are you waiting for? You've got a bus to catch. for you then. What can I do for you then? You're picking up stuff for James and for Pinta, you say. <laughs> well, you certainly not the first victim he said to do his work for him. All because he's too he's too stinking he's too stinking to buy his own bus ticket. So he sends other people to run his errands. Why do you think he takes care of all what do you think has to take care of? what do you think has to Take care of all these little plush sheep he sends here. Oh, exactly, it's me! But now I've had enough. I can't be bothered to help you as well as the others. You have to look, you have to look after, after you look after yourself. Sigh, okay, since you asked nicely, I can help, you can help me. You can help me with something in return though first. You'll be, you'll be happy to help me, you say? Well, that's great. Maybe you're not as useless as, as all those other pushover pushover gene sons. As you can see, the floor here is completely spotless. Not a bad job if I say so myself. Sadly, people just walk all over it and say in which way, which way they please. But, but we're going to put a stop to that. They act like they own the place. But they never show any respect for all my hard work. Here, place, here, place, here, place these warning signs around where I've just mopped, and maybe the, the floor will be able to stay, will be stand up to their, stand up for, to their fills for at least a little while. Go ahead, then, go on then, get out of here, put the signs up, and don't come back to the floor, it's done. Yeah, yeah, that's not so dumb. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Hmm, did you did you think you were finished? Ha <laughs> ha no, I you think you I thought I I knew you think you were finished. You are total lazy bones, just like everybody else who is small. You're not lazy bones, you say? Okay, well, let's see about that. I you know, you can have a chance to prove you're not a sleepy little stalker like all the other spoiled princesses wandering around like they own the place, leaving all their trash behind them. Rude is what they are. Rude and vile. What? When I tell the 
I not, when I tell the boss about it, I hear is it all I hear is you should smile to customers. Yeah, if it was up to me, I keep them. Them all out of the mall, then there'd finally be a, a bit of order here. Somebody's gonna have to pick up all the trash that they're everywhere, and today that somebody isn't gonna be me. <laughs> pick up all the trash you find laying around the place, and then maybe I'll help you. Go on, get moving, scram! You such a jerk. Bye.